everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the charger I got and the pair of batteries I got to run my Notorious Success. So, first off, here's the charger. I ended up having to buy a connector to connect to my batteries because when I bought this, it came with all these, which is really what made me want to buy it. They all look pretty old, and if they are not old, I don't have a lot of batteries. The only ones I'm able to use is this one right here for one of my batteries. And I thought this was going to be the one that I could use for the type of batteries that I got. So, this pretty much is worthless except for this one connector right here. So, other than that, I have no complaints with it. It does not have a fan. Um, first charger I've ever had that did not have a fan, so it doesn't seem to get hot when I'm charging it, so that's a plus, but I'm only using it for two batteries, so the chances of it overheating are probably slim to none. So I'll go ahead and uh, run through it real quick. It's very simple. I was actually kind of pleased. So turn it on. And then you can show all the lipo st status, nickel metal hydrate, and just, you know, just a couple of things. But you're going to want to get to lipo, obviously, or whatever you're running. <clears throat> all right, so you have it on right here. So you have your milliamps and your voltage. So I'm running a... 5200 milliamp, 11.1 volt, and these are Z batteries. My first ones I've ever bought. Um, I'll go over them in a second. But this only goes up to five amps, guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put it on, you're gonna pick the mode, LiPo, push start, and then you push start again, and it'll start flashing by the amps. So here's how you go up, down, if it's lower, you can go down, um, push start again, you can go over to the voltage. Um, it goes all the way up to 22.2. So I'm going to put mine back down to 11.1. .1, and it's pretty much that easy, guys. You just push start. And then you plug your balance wire in, obviously. Plug this in and show you how quiet it is because I was actually really amazed. My wife hates my Traxxas one because it's so loud. So I'll go ahead and start it for you. Bridge I need. So I'm going to hold it. All right. Cancel to stop. Confirm. Hold enter. There it is. Now you can see how it's giving the little countdown. And Listen how quiet it is. It's nothing, guys. At first, I didn't even think it was charging, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it's doing its job. Um, these batteries, actually really pleased with them too. Not too picky with battery, batteries. Um, I usually try to buy something new each time to see if one runs better than the other or they make any difference. Um, so far, I like them. I would highly recommend them. I would highly recommend this charger right here. Um, for being $40 charger, it's doing its job, guys. Um, I paid for two of these three cell 52 milliamps. I believe it was $89 or $79. I'll have it in the description down below. And I will have the description for this charger. And I recommend you guys give it a try. Um, if you don't have batteries, though, that will connect to all these, it's very easy, just go down to your local hobby shop and you just buy this little connector, you're good to go. So, that's about all I had. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like what you saw, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. All right, talk to you next time. See ya.